Now let's talk about hybrid jobs. A hybrid job is a calculation that mixes different types of parallelism. For example, shared memory parallelism and distributed memory parallelism. A hybrid job can combine, for instance, calls to MPI message passing interface library and to shared memory parallelism via OpenMP. In this case, it will use shared memory on each node to exchange information between different processes on that node, and then it will explicitly send messages across the network between processes on different nodes. In practice, it is quite difficult to write combined MPI and OpenMP codes, but some codes actually have this built in. If you're working with a community code that has hybrid parallelism baked in, then you want to know how to submit these kind of jobs. This example shows you a batch script for a hybrid job. So here I'm asking for four MPI tasks, and then in each MPI task, I'm asking for 12 cores. So that means that the total number of CPU cores is going to be four times 12, 48. I'm asking for 12 hours maximum runtime, and then I'm looking at the value of this variable, slurm CPUs per task. If this variable is defined inside the running job, then that means that I have access to shared memory parallelism. So I have more than a single core pure MPI task. And then I pass this value eventually to the OpenMP numThreads variable, and this value gets taken by the shared memory code. If this variable is not defined, that means that the value of CPUs per task is equal to one, and we don't have any shared memory parallelism. We just have the usual MPI parallelism, and that way uh, we don't launch any OpenMP style parallelism in the code, we just have MPI style parallelism. Uh, so we're launching exactly the same copy of this program on, in this case, four processes. In the chapel course in the summer school, you will actually see many examples of hybrid parallelism. And in chapel, it's really easy to write hybrid parallel programs that will use distributed memory parallelism on multiple nodes and then shared memory parallelism on a single node. Next, let's see how you can submit uh, GPU jobs. This is actually really easy. All you need to do is pass a flag minus G res, specifying how many GPUs per node you're gonna use. So in this job submission script, you specify the total number of nodes you're gonna use, and then the number of GPUs per node. If you wanna specify a specific type of GPU, recall that on CETA, we actually have several different types of GPUs and the same on gram, then you can optionally pass a flag that will tell the scheduler what kind of GPU you want to use. For example, the V100L is a new GPU on CETA and T4 is a new GPU on gram. So the flag is gonna be dash dash G res equal to GPU column, the type of GPU column, and then how many GPUs per node you're gonna use. So in this case, also don't forget to specify the number of nodes. In this course, we're not gonna run any GPU programs, but in principle, if you have a code that can utilize GPUs, or perhaps you're using a GPU library from, let's say, Python or from R, then this script will be very useful to you.